Good day, everyone. So I'm just going to do a, a, a real quick run through of uh, this engine. I've just prepped it for a hot rod. So it's a, a 20 series VVTi 1UZ. Uh, it's had a cam belt job done on it. Uh, so I've got the old parts from the cam belt job. The belt, of course. A water pump. Front crank seal. New thermostat. And the idlers. I've also replaced the two bearings. The one in this unit and the one in there. These ones were uh, a little bit noisy. Uh, it didn't come with an airflow meter, so I made up an airflow meter adapter and screwed the airflow a, a, and got an airflow meter from another vehicle for that. Power steer pump has been rebuilt. Um, and the hydraulic fan pump's been removed. So for those of you who don't know, uh, these run a hydraulic fan pump. So it doesn't have engine oil running through it. It's got its own reservoir. The pulley's in here. So this is normally located here. Um, you can strip them out, but uh, because this one's going into a hot rod, I thought it'd be much neater if we put a, an idler brack unit on there, an idler assembly. So I've put that on. Uh, we've got some extra wires down the side here. That's for um, different oil pressure units. Um, and I've put a short oil filter on at the moment. There's some different oil filter housings that may be more suitable, but we'll work on that once it's in the chassis. I've just taken the belt off, so I run a shorter belt when I've done the uh, taken the air conditioning off. It's not going to have air conditioning. We've fitted up. I fitted up some headers. So these are my short tube headers, and I put the ones on with the flange. I also do the same header without a flange, which is you, so you, if you, you're tight for room around that flange, you can put a, quite a small flange on. <coughs> In the wiring loom, uh, you can see it's wrapped in a, a, a cloth sleeve, cloth, cloth uh, wrap. And I actually put the alternator wiring into the main loom, um, like a later model crown is, is being done. Uh, that way uh, I've only got the main power wire for the alternator coming up through here. And that's wrapped up through here. Uh, that's wrapped in um, some heat proof covering. Um, I'll just I'll show you. So the heatproof covering. There's not many uh, wiring things. So there you go. That's burning. No problem. It's not going to catch on fire. So the then I've run a for the starter made a new loom and that runs up to a firewall grommet. I'm expecting the battery to be in the in the cabin. For the transmission side of things, uh, we've fitted, taken off the three bolt flange on the back and we've fitted uh, a round flange. So that'll accept uh, a, a way our flange that we make up with a slip joint in the, in the uh, drive shaft. And I actually, I've had to pull the selector switch apart. It was playing up. We've got an alternator fuse tucked at the back. So that can either go onto the firewall or be secured on the engine. And I've had the intake manifold off the starter motor was looking quite yuck, so I've put a, a proper Nippon Denso starter back in, not a cheap Chinese one. And at the same time, pretty much on all the VVTi engines I do, I change the VSV for the for the intake manifold for the ABIS, the variable intake. In the kit, I'm also I'm supplying some brand new uh, genuine Denso oxygen sensors and a fan switch. I fitted a temp switch, temp sensor to the engine, um, but it will depend on what dash we end up running. There's a fuel filter with a built-in regulator going, and I found a shifter. So this is the proper VVTi shifter, which allows all gears to be selected. Um, so when it comes down, there, there's your, your overdrive off or your fifth to fourth gear change, and you can hold it back into first. I've taken out the, the idle up for the power steer at the moment, 
but hopefully that can go back in depending on the chassis but I didn't want to break it so it's easier to be left off until the, until the end of the job. I've then completed the wiring on it so it's wired up. I've used uh, quite an extensive wiring system here so that actually contains some of the wiring for the vehicle as well. So we'll power it up. It hasn't fired up this morning. <coughs> the ECU has had the immobiliser removed. We've got a little bit of short throttle coming. You can actually hear it. If you can hear the throttle actually hum a little bit. And when I start to operate it, it hums quite a lot. When I did the loom, some of the connector plugs were replaced. I've actually got the, the bag of old ones. So there's the old connector plugs that were replaced. So we'll see if it's gonna go this morning. Just gotta check this uh, cattle out in the paddock. They're looking okay. With the engine turned off, the immobiliser light will start to flash. So there's the immobiliser light flashing. So that's a, a prep done, chop prep, prep job done on a uh, 1UZ VVTi. That's the shortened version anyway. So uh, I can uh, get it back to the customer and he can put it in his chassis and then we can wire up the, the whole vehicle. Hey, we'll talk to you again. Catch you later.